In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the Pearson's chi-square test. What is a chi-square test? Uh, a chi-square is also written as, you know, the big X square test. So um, it is a statistical hypothesis test that is valid to perform when the test statistic is chi-squared distribu uh, distributed under the null hypothesis. So um, we, we also call that Pearson's chi-square test. Pearson's chi-square test is used to determine whether there is a statistically significant differences between the expected frequencies and the observed frequencies. You now to see you know, the differences between the two in one or more categories of a contingency table. So test uh, statistics that follow a chi-square distribution occurred when the observations are independent and normally distributed. So in other words, um, the chi-square test is based on the assumption that um, the data is normally distributed. So um, normally we will take a look at the, uh, the data to see whether or not it's a normal distribution. So what is normal distribution? When you run the analysis, you know, run the frequency, and uh, the distribution of the data uh, and the variable, especially the dependent variable, uh, should look like this, you know, in the chart. So it will be something like a bell curve. It can be very tall or very flat, but the idea is that it will be close to a bell shape. It's a symmetric, you know, when you divide it to half, you know, the right-hand side should be equally like left-hand side or close to equal. And uh, it will be gradually decreased on both sides uh, continuously without touching the baseline. So uh, that will be the idea uh, of uh, normal distribution. So um, when we do the chi-square test or Pearson's chi-square test, a lot of the social science research are based on uh, the 95% confidence interval. So we're looking at its p-value. Uh, the p-value representing the probability uh, of a sampling error. So when we, uh, when we set the confidence interval into 95%, which means the probability of sampling error, the p-value should be less than 5%. That 5% is the sampling error. So if your p-value, if the p-value is less than 0.05, which means that there is less than 5% of the sampling error, that indicate, you know, this correlation is a statistically significant. So um, we need that, we need the p-value to be less than 0.05 to claim the statistical significance of a research hypothesis. So if a p less than 0.05, we can reject uh, the null hypothesis and your research hypothesis is supported. So how do we run a Pearson's chi-square by using the GSS Data Explorer? Okay, the same way uh, when you go to your GSS project, uh, you create a new analysis and then you will use, we will have to use a cross tabulation be able to run the chi-squared test. So you select cross tabulation. And then uh, in here, I want to name that um, chi-squared test. Uh, I will label that will be a 10 by A, B, N, E. So my independent variable is uh, how religious they are by attending the religious services. So I put it in the column and my dependent variable will be abortion for any reason, okay? But one difference that I didn't mention in my previous video is that you will need to select case when you doing the Pearson's chi-square. Uh, if you only need to run a cross tabulation by looking at uh, the percentage distribution or the frequency distribution uh, for independent and dependent variable, then you don't need to do that. But if you are running a chi-square test, you will have to select cases. Uh, the reason is that by selecting cases, 
uh, the GSS calculation will be able using, you know, the observed the frequency compared with the expected frequency. You can use uh, any demographic variables for you to select cases. So for example, you can use the year or use uh, sex, um, but you just need to make sure that you select all of the cases for your analysis. So here I'm going to use the year. So when you move the year to the case selection uh, for, my, uh, for my research, uh, the example I'm using here, I select uh, the year for 2018. So I'll put down 2018 to 2018. But if your study is focused on say like the 2010 to 2018, then you will use a different range, okay? So after I do that, uh, you still use the weight for all. You don't select generate design correlated standard error uh, because if your data is after 1975, uh, you don't need to select that. And you will exclude missing value and you definitely need to click chi-square. So then uh, now you can create analysis. After a few seconds, uh, it will generate not only uh, the cross tabulation, also at the bottom, there is a, a number. It shows the chi-square value is 114.11 with the degrees of freedom eight. And the p-value, p-value is actually what we need the most. So the p-value here shows less than 2.2e negative 16. So what it means is that the negative 16 means uh, the value will move the decimal point 16 digits to the left. Um, that shows the p-value is extremely small. So that definitely um, qualify for what we need. Um, that p-value is less than 0.05. So in this case, we can reject the null, means our research hypothesis is supported. So my research hypothesis, as I mentioned earlier, is to hypothesize that the level of religiosity will have an impact on the attitude of abortion. So with this p-value, that means this hypothesis is supported. So the relations between attend and ABNE has uh, a statistically significant effect. Okay, so this is how we do the Pearson's chi-square.